Hello, I am Tayshini LP, Department of Physics, VCT Kutu. Now I am going to explain one experiment that is Young's Modulus using cantilever. That is a cantilever bending experiment. These are the parts of that uh, experiment. Here we have taken one G clamp and uh, beam is uh, this uh, wooden scale. And wooden scale is fixed at one end, another end is uh, free. And now this wooden scale is called as a cantilever pin. And another free end is fixed to one pin as well as one weight handle. You can see that here. For taking readings, we use a traveling microscope. This is the traveling microscope. This is eyepiece lens and here objective lens. And it has got two scales, one is main scale, another one is a vernier scale. There are several divisions on main scale starting from zero. And you can see the main scale and vernier scale of, uh, readings like this, you can see that. Starting with the zero, next small line is 0 0.05, next to that 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.25 like that. So, difference between any two readings on main scale is 0 0.05. Similarly, vernier scale, there are 50 divisions on vernier scale starting from 0. This arrow mark indicates it is 0th line, 1 means 10, 2 means 20, 30, 40, 50. So, total divisions, 50 divisions are there. So, using main scale and vernier scale of a traveling microscope, we will find out the least count of travelling microscope and it is given here. Formula is shown here. Least count is equal to value of 1 MST divided by total number of VSTs. 0 0.05 divided by 50 that is equal to 0 0.01 centimeter. So, 0 0.001 centimeter it is a least count of travelling microscope. So, that is about finding least count. Now, main aim of this experiment is to find out Young's modulus of the given beam. Given beam is a wooden scale. Young's modulus it is the ratio of a longitudinal stress to linear strain. Stress is due to this weight and strain occurs in this scale. To find out strain uh, as well as the depression, we use this pin. Now, let us see some initial adjustments of this uh, traveling microscope. You have to bring objective lens of traveling microscope near to that pin. Bring it near to that. Then, use the, this uh, screw which is given back side of the apparatus. You can see that here. Turn it. You can move it upward and downward. You can fix it. This is for large movement. For a small vertical movement, you can use this scope. Now I am focusing that pin. Objective lens is taken near to that pin. I focus it for three fourth of the pin. At first, not for the tip. Three fourth it is taken. So I have focused up like this. I think you can see that three fourth. Then bring it back in the same line for 4 to 5 centimeter gap. After bringing that back, view through the eyepiece. Sometimes you may see image. Now I am not getting any image. What I do? I will turn this screw forward and backward. Even after turning this forward and backward, if you are not getting any image, bring it back in the same line. Okay, now I got the image. But I can't see the tip because I have focused it for 3 fourth of that pin. To get a tip of the pin, view through the eyepiece again. Use this uh, screw, take it upward until you see tip. Now, do adjustment such that tip of the pin should touch horizontal line. Okay, one small gap is there. I will use this screw for the adjustment. Now it touches that horizontal line. So your adjustment should be like this. I have done adjustment like this. Horizontal line, this is a vertical line. Tip touches horizontal line. 
So now we are about the reading. Initial adjustment over. Now we are about the reading. We have taken one weight hanger. Weight of that weight hanger is a W. So above the reading, see this a table log column. W plus zero. First reading is W plus zero. I have not taken any slotted weight in that, so it is W plus zero. We'll write MSR and CV. So how to write main scale and vernier scale? So to write main scale and vernier scale, you have to focus this main scale and vernier scale. properly with light then see arrow mark of that vernier scale this is that arrow mark where it coincides with the main scale it is your main scale reading in this diagram just one example i have taken arrow mark is in between 0.6 and 0.65 so if it is in between two lines you have to write a lower reading 0.6 so msr is now 0.6 Similarly, CVD coinciding vernier division. You have to go on checking from zero to fifty. See which line of vernier coincides with the main scale and looks like a single line. One example I have shown here, twenty one. That is on vernier scale coincides with the main scale, looks like a single line. So twenty one is considered as a vernier scale division. So we'll write a vernier scale reading and a main scale reading in table of column. So, like this. This is another reading. Just example I have shown. W plus zero main scale and CVD. Next reading is for W plus zero point zero five. Zero point zero five means fifty gram. Add fifty gram for slotted weight. We'll add that now. This is a slotted weight of fifty gram. Fix it here. Carefully, you have to fix without disturbing the set. Now the pressure increases. Position of that uh, pin or tip of the pin may not be same. It will be like this. Position will be like this. There exists one gap between tip of the pin and horizontal line. You have to touch that tip of the pin again for horizontal line by using this uh, screw. Small adjustment will be done. So you get a position again like this. Take main scale reading as well as a vernier scale reading. Same procedure you have to continue for next steps by adding 50 gram each time. It becomes a 0.1 kg, 0.15, 0.2, 0.25 kg it should be. Go on writing main scale reading and CVD. Next load decreasing. Once you take readings for W plus point two five, next you have to decrease the load. So last reading of load increasing will be the first reading of load decreasing. Same reading is written here like this. You are right. Next, remove fifty gram from that slotted weight. Remove it. Again, depression decreases. That position of the pin will change. Position of the pin will be like this. while you remove the load again you have to get a same position like this so do adjustment in the traveling microscope then write reading from bottom to top so second reading of load decreasing it is written here it is quite it may be quite different from first or maybe same next go on removing 50 g each time Until it becomes W plus zero. So for W plus zero, it is six point one and fifteen. So we are writing reading for load increasing, load decreasing. Write a total reading now. Total reading is equal to MSR plus CVD into least count. We write that here and take mean of that total reading, which is written here as six point one one like that. Last column is for depression. Depression is taken for mass of 0.1 kg. If you consider W plus zero, W plus 0.1. If you subtract this, you get 0.1. So corresponding readings: 6.11 and 5.75. Subtract these two readings, alternative readings, you get 0.32. Similarly, subtract alternative readings, you get four more. Readings here, so total four readings in the depression column. Take mean of that, you get a 0.33 into 10 power minus 2 meter. This is a depression in the cantilever beam.
Next, according to the aim of the experiment, we have to calculate Young's modulus. So, Young's modulus formula is given here. Young's modulus y is equal to 4 mg l cube divided by v d cube x. Substitute the values here. 4 m is mass 0.1, g is acceleration due to gravity 9.8, l is 0.33. Then b and d, breadth and thickness, both are substituted here. Depression 0.33 into 10 power minus 2. That is equal to 10.43 into 10 power. 9 newton per meter square it can be written as 10.43 giga pascal which is a young's modulus of this wooden scale actually it is a aim of our experiment so young's modulus it is, is a um, one property of the material that is elastic property of the material it is different for different materials suppose if steel scale is given its young's modulus will be different because the elasticity depends upon the material. Thank you.